North Carolina pepper here. I'm going to go over making some of the uh, pepper oil I use for cooking and for other things. I'm only going to fill up probably about half of the bottle with oil, so I'll make the time. Um, they tend to, uh, I don't know, there's a possibility of botulism, so nobody else should ever make this. But um, <clears throat> basically I'll keep it for about a week and then make some more if I haven't used it all, which is unlikely, but still. I'm going to take uh, dry peppers because there's less chance of botulism if you have dried foods. And also they won't go moldy in the bottle, which I'll strain most of them out. But I, I use this oil, I'll use this oil mostly for uh, cooking. Um, stir fry or whatever. I'm just going to use canola oil from what because it's what I have on hand. But normally I would use uh, olive oil if I had it. But I don't feel like going to the store. And like I said, it's only about four days or to a week. I'll keep this, but let me go through the process of how to make this, and um, I'll show you how to make it here in just a moment. Okay, let me let me open up the bag. Actually, I'm going to open up the bag now. <clears throat> I'm going to take about maybe this many peppers. About a small handful. Small handful. That's really overkill. Stuff smells really strong. Maybe I'll take less actually. There we go. We'll take that and we'll fry them up or put them in the oil. Fill that up. You know, I forgot to wear gloves, but we're going to just go with it this time anyway. Basically, I get rid of the stems. I'll keep the seeds on these. Because the seeds are where the flavor goes. Or as they say, uh, fats and oils are the roads uh, flavor travels on. Well, I'll tell you what, heat travels on uh, seeds. So let me, let me continue after I get all these cut up. Okay, they're all chopped up now. Um, the reason I chop them up is to open up to let the oils get more infused in there. And, um, you know, lets it get out there. And I should have, like I said, I should have worn gloves. It's kind of burning my nose now. Um, I'll be filtering out most of the, uh, the plant matter. But still. Okay, let me, um, fill this up to about halfway. Yeah, I guess halfway. There we go. Get that out of the way. Put that over there. This is just so I know how much oil to actually use. Let's see if I can swing this over here. My pot <clears throat> and I'll pour the oil in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the peppers <clears throat> and we're gonna heat this to um, basically boiling, you know. And uh get these in here. Once again, apparently I have mistreated kitchen utensils. I don't know, they're like tools, you know, I mistreat things and they tend to run away. I'm going to bring this up on low heat for beginners because I don't want to flash or smoke. If it smokes, I'll be in for a world of hurt here. Um, yeah, it'd be in a lot of world of hurt, and people will be leaving this house quick. 
So, let me go ahead and bring this up, and uh, we'll continue the video there. There we go. I decided to move the camera because I didn't want to over boiling oil to mess up my lens. But if you can hear that, it's just starting to crackle. That's the remnants of all the oil or the moisture coming out of the water being purged. <clears throat> we're going to heat this up until it simmers. Then we're going to cap it with the lid and just let it set. Um, as the moisture is pushed out, basically the oils are pushed out of the, uh, the peppers. You can see it's starting to change to a reddish color. Which is one of the reasons I actually choose the uh, this. I can't pronounce it. Abado? Abado chili? Little red chilies. <clears throat> I think these are about a seven on the on the scale. Um, don't want to burn. Like I said, I'm bringing it very slowly to temperature. Um, <clears throat> this is canola oil, so I know we're not going to get over. Uh, I guess 250, 225 before we get it smoking. Um, I don't want to smoke. Oh God, do I not want to smoke? Generally the process takes about seven minutes at most. It really should be using a wooden spoon, but I don't know what's that. And once it kind of starts simmering slow like this, uh, most of your moisture is out. And all the oil is out. Now what you're going to have, you're actually going to lose oil if you go too far. You turn up for a second and get really boiling. But if it goes too far, what will happen is the oil will try to get back into the peppers. A little bit more. Okay, we're approaching the smoke point, so turn that off and um, put this on and just let it all calm down and then we'll. We'll let it cool and then I'll I'll filter it and put it in the bottle. I'll show you that. Just a quick update. I mean I got that a little hotter than I planned. <laughs> it kind of smoked a little bit. I mean that's the peppers. I mean it might not be totally accurate, but it's accurate enough. It's cooling now, but there was an instant I had to like leave the kitchen because it got a little too hot in here. But um I'm mean, gonna let that finish cooling when it gets down to about hundred degrees. Or less, we'll go ahead and bottle it. We'll strain it with the strainer and then we'll bottle it. And there's no moisture left in that, but let me go ahead and put the lid back on and let it cool some more. And let all the moisture come off. Alright, um, I'll be back. Alright, we're, we're a little lower now. We're at 127 degrees, which I don't know which way is the camera. I'll have to fix that in editing. That's over there. Got a nice smell. Nothing burnt smell. We'll go ahead and bottle this. See what we got. Put that in there. Put that in there. And let's see what kind of catastrophe we can make here. Set that over the sink. Some nice, nice color on that. Let me let me go dump this over here. <coughs> um, some people save the. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, it smells so good. Uh, some people save the peppers. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna save them because <clears throat> they're they're all oil infused. If I was gonna cook something today, <clears throat> I might use a few of those, but not right now. I mean, I might add some to it. <coughs> it's a little strong. 
Excuse me. Okay, well, here you go. North Carolina Pepper. Um, I'll have to fix this one up. I don't know which way it's up. I post it up. North Carolina Pepper. Um, please rate and subscribe and please have a great day.